The concept of big data has been described with what we call the four V's. That's volume, so many data points aggregated together in one pool. Variety, so linked data sets of different types. So for example, genomics plus electronic health record data. Veracity, so improving data quality over time. And the issue of velocity. So big data is data that's continuously aggregating in a quick and quicker fashion. The first thing we do is take the structured data out of the electronic health record and standardize it and harmonize it so that it is in one common format and readily analyzable. The other thing Flatiron focuses on is working with the unstructured documents to turn the information that's in those documents into individual data points that are readily analyzable. So one of the things that Flatiron allows is for all of healthcare to learn from the experience of every patient. At the end of the day, the care of this person sitting in front of me, her data is invested in the overall system of care, and that overall system of care then can be analyzed and help to improve the care of people in the future that look like the patient sitting right in front of me. I think that Flatiron is uniquely positioned to help researchers, biopharma, the government, and really all kinds of stakeholders efficiently bring lessons learned back to the clinic and make sure that the research that we're doing is maximally informed by what patients in the clinic need. Flatiron, like Roche, sees personalized medicine as critical to our healthcare future. We're doing a number of things at Flatiron to try and accelerate personalized medicine. For example, we have a partnership with Foundation Medicine where we're building a clinical genomics database that links Flatiron processed electronic health record data with the genomics data from Foundation Medicine. We're working with Roche and other life sciences companies to understand how to better do personalized medicine clinical trials, understand which drugs work for unique patient subpopulations, and also figure out how do you get that information back to the clinic quickly. In the media and in many conversations, there is a sense of worry about what does it mean that we're accessing patients' health records and we're using that information now to derive insights. What do I find on the front line? At the end of the day, patients want to know that they're contributing to the future. More often than not, patients say, if my information can help somebody else, please make that happen. And in fact, they're really upset to find out that that's not just a core part of how we do it.